Hey everyone, it's Andrew with the Ridgeline Division Shops. I am back with a pair of Dash 9s that I'm going to be painting up as BC Rail 4650 and 4652. Uh, I started with a pair of BNSF units from Cato and obviously I've stripped them down. Uh, didn't do too much modification on these ones except for the obvious Canadian bells over the cab. Had to do that on both of those. Uh, just it just sticks out so much and just really adds to the engine. Also went ahead and added sunshades over these ones, uh, but not much beyond that. Uh, gonna go ahead and paint them. This is a basically a two color scheme. It's uh, a dark blue and an aluminum or a silver. Uh, I think Blue Angel Blue uh, looks like a good place to start, so I'll get to that blue. Uh, I'll show you how I paint them up and then I will mask off for the aluminum and go back and paint that. And uh, then decals and weathering. So let's go ahead and get to it. Okay, so as I'd mentioned, I will be painting both of the engines simultaneously, but I'll just show one for the purpose of this video. Uh, we're going to start with Blue Angel Blue. I'll end up painting the entire long hood, uh, the entire cab, and parts of the walkway uh, before counter spraying with the aluminum. So we'll get to that right now. Alright, so I've let the blue uh, cure for a couple of hours, uh, so now we're ready to mask off uh, the, the cab mostly for, for the silver paint that's going to come on next. Uh, now as regards masking tape, uh, I don't use anything in particular, uh, I just uh, go to Home Depot and pick up a roll of tape. The key to painting over details though is to cut your tape into thin strips so that you can lay it down into the details uh, especially along the line of demarcation of the paint so that's what I'm doing here uh, fairly simple paint scheme on these BC rail engines uh, they are that dark blue over most of the the body uh, and pretty much silver uh, from the walkway down so just a little bit of masking off especially on the cab uh, there um, from all these areas, basically from that line and down, everything is silver. Uh, obviously there also will be a little bit of masking on the, on the walkways. <clears throat> now the actual prototype doesn't have air conditioners here, uh, but since I'm not removing those, uh, I will leave this entire area blue. Same with these steps, so I'll mask off those as well. Uh, but the walkway on top is silver, and then of course the pilots and the steps uh, everything under the frame, so I'll also be painting the trucks and the fuel tanks silver or the same silver color. So I'll go ahead and start masking that off and uh, then we will throw, uh, throw paint.
All right, so I went ahead and painted the silver. Um, as I mentioned earlier, the key to getting a tight line over the details is to use uh, thin strips of tape. And then while you're painting, uh, I always recommend or I always tend to paint down the uh, away from the the tape so as not to try to shoot the tape uh, shoot the paint under the tape uh, and then of course when you're lifting tape off uh, just be careful uh, the idea of giving it a few hours to sit was so that uh, the paint didn't lift when I lifted off the tape uh, looking good so far let's see about that edge very clean very clean sharp edge uh, sometimes uh, even with the best uh, masking sometimes you'll have to do a little bit of touch up uh, but on that one it looks like we're doing okay uh, we'll check this other side and of course I'll check the other engine as well come on all right looks like we got it there um, so left on these two engines are decals and a little bit of weathering but uh, I will show those in a later video so for now painting is complete look at that edge not bad huh so painting is complete let me know if you have any questions uh, about the techniques that I used or uh, any suggestions I might have that uh, you might find useful um, I appreciate uh, any feedback that uh, you guys would want to leave uh, if you wouldn't mind uh, subscribing to my channel I would appreciate it uh, apparently that helps me to know uh, that people are actually watching these videos um, and uh, feel free to contact me if you have any questions in the meantime I'll see you on the next one thanks very much